Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Fernandez and welcome to my channel, I live to inspire mental health. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and talk about mental health and my experience with bipolar disorder every week. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the coronavirus and how that is affecting our mental health and some of the things that we can do to help it not really hurt us in that way. Um, so basically throughout this time, it has impacted a lot of us, right? So even if you don't have it or haven't been exposed to it one way or another, it has impacted us. For example, for me, my university has canceled all face-to-face -face, um, classes. So therefore, you know, I'm home just like so many other students in the United States. And I don't know what other countries are doing, but that it's what's going on over here. So obviously that is a huge shift and that not only, I mean, creates worry about what's gonna be on the future, but it's also, you know, changing whatever you thought you were gonna be doing, you know, maybe you had expectations of going back to school or how am I gonna do graduation and all this stuff. So there's a lot of fears, a lot of anxieties um, going on. But here's some things that we can do. So first I kinda wanna say how crazy it is that something like this can literally stop the world. Um, and I also wanna say that there is always something that we can do throughout these times um, and it is not good to freak out a lot and um, which is panic which is what a lot of people are doing because sometimes that can do more harm than good so basically I want to say that if with your mental health in regards to mental health you know a lot of things might be shifting for example if you look if you go to a therapist if you have a psychologist and you look at them face to face when you say, what am I going to do now? I'm supposed to stay home. I'm not supposed to be going out, um, you know, social distancing and everything. So what I'm proposing is that, for example, I do, I see my psychologist through video chat. So that is a really great way of seeing them. And for me, it has worked. I like it better than going in person personally. Um, but if you have, you know, your psychologist, maybe ask them, hey, are you willing to video chat with me um, instead of seeing me in person just because you know going out makes me anxious or this or that or whatever just to feel more comfortable if that's what you need if you don't feel like going out but you still want to take care of your mental health also very important it is to fill all your prescriptions contact your doctors make sure you have enough because you just we just never know in this time period you know when we're going to be able to have our medications or not if you take medications so it is important for you to have it not freak out about it but just have it you know have it with you to be safe um so those are kind of the things that i'm saying directly regarding to mental health to not stop your medications not stop your treatment to st still see your therapist your psychologist there's a lot of online help because you must continue to do this so your mental health will not get worse and so you'll be healthy and you'll be able to talk about all these things that are going on um so more than that i also want to talk about some ways you can <laughs> get out of this boredom not thinking about it and one of the things is that you shouldn't be looking at the news all the time every day every second because although it is important to be notified of things that are important things that are going on and can affect us it is also not healthy if you're doing that all day every single day because things such as nightmares can happen you start to get extremely worried and that is that does not help uh, we are seeing it a lot with people panicking and buying a lot of stuff. Um, obviously, nobody can really tell you the future, what's going to happen, what, is, what it's not, but it is affecting the mental health. And watching the news all the time is really bad for you because you're panicking. You really can't do much about it other than washing your hands and taking the care that you need to be that's been uh, recommended, right? Um, so other than that, one of the things that uh, I've done with my family and my boyfriend has basically been, since we have to be here all day, we literally grabbed today and we were just playing basketball and we were jump roping, we were working out, we were doing these, we played Mario Bros, you know, like all that kind of stuff to kind of distract ourselves um, because it is not good to not do anything and also not being on social media all day, right? It's it's important to be active in some way. And also use this time to your advantage. So what does that mean? If you have a dream that you've been wanting to work on, but you always have class, you always have work, something else going on, but you haven't been able to accomplish it, and you wanna start working on it, you want to 
do something, plant a seed for it to grow, it is the time to do that because it is. this is a moment where you can analyze yourself, where you can have time to really understand what you want out of life. And it is a perfect moment to do so, to focus on new things, to focus on learning new things online, um, with online classes as well to focus on projects such as for example me my youtube channel i can do this at home right um and that those are motivators so that whenever we overcome because we will overcome the situation we'll be getting out of here with something positive that we brought out of it right we were proactive we were doing something to feel better to grow and that is ultimately what we can do so again, as I said, watching the news all the time is not good. You need to be updated on what's going on, but watching it too much can really harm your mental health. And it's important to be active at home, whatever it is, playing board games, playing outside, um, you know, like on your backyard or whatever it is, playing board games. All that is very important to keep your mind active and to keep your body healthy. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say. It is important to take care of your mental health and your physical health. And I feel like we hear a lot about physical health and washing your hands and being careful and social distancing, but it is important to take care of our mental health. So with that, I hope that everybody is safe um, and that this we can overcome this very, very soon. Um, and with that, always remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and a bad day does not mean a bad day.